So here is the before on the left hand side. Here is after. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo. And today we will be talking about how you're able to remaster your photos on your Samsung Galaxy devices. So we will be going through just a few different photos today because I believe all of these kind of offer something a little different. You have an everyday photo. You also have portrait photos, one that's black and white, one with color. You have two images that are just blown out with bright colors. I wanna see what happens when you were to remaster those. We also have a couple different landscape scenery type photos, some of them with some browns and some reds. You also have some greens, blues, just to kind of see you know, how everything comes off after you would like to take a look and remaster some of these photos. Now I don't know exactly which all devices this is able to work on, but what I will show you is the version of the gallery that I have here. So inside of the gallery information, this version is 121067. So this way you can take a look at which version I have. So if you don't see it on yours yet, maybe you have a smaller version number here. That means that you're just not upgraded just yet with the newer version that allows you to have this option to remaster photos. So the first photo that we will be going through and remastering will be this one here. It's just a natural indoor photo. Elliot went to bed. Uh, passed out just like that on the couch. I want to see what it does with skin tones, what it does with the white doors, the white dog. I want to see if it changes anything with the, the warmth of the photo, maybe cool or warm. Basically, anything and everything. Because normally when you go through the top, you want to edit a photo, you'll go through the editing uh, software right here. But on the very top right hand side, what I've noticed recently with just in the last few days was remaster picture. So you also have, you know, copy to clipboard, copy to album, move to album. I did actually move some of these to a brand new album called remaster just for this video for today. So we're gonna go to remaster picture and it's going to analyze and then kind of remaster the whole image for you. And it's really nice because you have the slider. So here's your before and here's after. So this is what the image looks like before and this is what it's gonna look like after. So you can see it does change the skin tone just a little bit, kind of brightens it up, changes a little bit of the pillow color. Uh, looks like it is brightening up just a little bit of the browns, but this isn't the full entire image. Let's say that we wanted to take a look a little bit at the top. You can see that it is changing the color of my door in the back. So it is kind of just illuminating, brightening up some of the whites. Even though, yes, this is a fairly accurate color of my door, uh, this is just going to make it pop. So if this is something that you like, this is the whole image. Here's the before and here's after. So if this is something that you like, you'd be able to share it, download it, and really that's the only two options you have. So if you wanna go through and you hit on download, you will notice it'll create that full second image. Now, normally with Samsung One UI 3.0 and some of the updates it did inside of the gallery was it made sure that it did not kind of come up with all of these different types of photos. It normally would save it within its own self. And if you wanted to revert back, you could, but because it's just completely changing the look of the photo, it's not just kind of cropping you will have both images. So if you're not a big fan of this one, or if you're not a big fan of this one, you'd be able to either delete the original or delete the new. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And again, write some comments below the video, give this thing a thumbs up. It does help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. So now that we've seen something a little bit more natural, something indoors, how about we go outdoors and let's see what it does with the blue sky in the back. Also too, this, the, the grass is pretty green, but it isn't the most greenest. I have a feeling it's really gonna pop up these colors in terms of the greens. It's gonna pop up, you know, probably some of the blues. So let's go to remaster picture. As it analyzes, <laughs> we just wait. So here we go. This is what it's going to do here. Let's just show a little bit of this blue sky first. So it looks Looks as if it kind of made it just a little bit brighter of a blue. It's a lighter blue. Now, when you take a look of everything in the back, it actually does help that little tree back here pop out just a little bit more. It's not as bland as before. And then when it comes down to the, the, the green grass, it does bring it to a lighter green. So this right here is the before. Everything is a little dull versus heading over into 
the remastered image. And I do have to say that it makes the, the glass look so much better. Uh, and I do believe I have one more image, which I should probably pop up here as well, where I'm sitting down and it has a wine glass and it's gonna look you know, really, really, really good. So this is uh, looking really good to me. I'm gonna hit on that download button. And again, as you know, uh, it is going to actually keep both images. So here is the remastered image and this was the original. So moving on to the next one, I added in that glass, that wine glass image. We're not gonna spend too much time with this one, but because I just mentioned, I wanted to see what it looked like and how it would pop things out, especially with that last image with glass. Uh, this one's actually gonna come off pretty good. So let's say that we move over and let's just really focus on the glass right here and then some of the green. So as you go through, you can see that it actually does give it a little bit more of a 3D pop out effect. So you can see that this is a little dull, boom, popped out. So it adds a little bit more color, especially with the reflection or refraction through the glass. Um, and it does make things look just a little bit better in my opinion. It's not gonna be too much just because it was a little dark in this image as well, but it does make the glass look a little bit better. So we're going to save that one as well. So heading over to one that is still outdoors. This is one with a little bit of, uh, you know, red trees. This is Yosemite. Uh, and so we went out to California when I was gone for that week or when I mentioned that I was off for the week, it was technically vacation. So here is what it does with the trees. So this is more of a accurate depiction of what the trees look like. They were a little bit more red than what this is trying to do. Uh, when you look on back here, it doesn't really make anybody pop out anymore. It does make the, it doesn't really make the trees that much greener. It does make it a little bit of a different tint of a green. So I guess if we were to bring it in just a little bit closer, I don't really see it making too much of an impact, maybe just a little bit brighter with the greens. And that's really pretty much about it. Uh, but I do like the original. So when it comes down to this one, I'm gonna keep it as the before shot because I think it's a little bit better than with it being remastered. So here we are one more time, we're outside taking a look at the remastered. Um, again, what's probably gonna happen is popping out the greens, popping out the blues. So here's the before on the left-hand side, here is after and it really brightens up the blue. It makes it a lighter blue. Same thing with the uh, the trees. You can, you can see a pretty big massive difference right here. So it's kind of a duller green with a more brighter green, as you can tell. And then when you look back at the mountains, it's really kind of illuminating some of those, those grays, making them just a little bit brighter, especially right here in this area. So I believe with this one, here's the before, here is the after, this was a pretty dramatic change for me, especially with the human eye. I don't really know if it's coming through the camera like it does with me. Uh, but again, here is the original image here and here is the remastered. I think it looks quite a bit better. Now taking a look at a portrait, uh, I guess we'll, let's play with this one here really first real quick. Uh, and then more than likely with this one, you would probably switch your phone around, but because it's in horizontal mode and you can zoom in, it's still gonna look fairly good. So this is where we can tell the difference. And I think a lot of the difference is gonna be shown inside of those sunglasses. So if you want your sunglass reflection to kind of pop a little bit more, I believe, this is really what, it, what what it's doing. And actually back here, it's trying to fix this line. So even though I have it to where, you know, it's blurring out the background, it's trying to fix it a little bit, as you can tell. So it's almost as if you don't have your glasses on, now you have your glasses on, but it's still foggy. You don't have your glasses, you have your glasses. Uh, but when it comes down to reflection, it looks like the blacks is, is, is standing out more. The blacks was really like a more blacker black, I guess you can say. Uh, and then it kind of makes the reflections look a little bit better. So when it comes down to the remastered, this one does do a very good job. Now we don't have anything that is a, a you know, a black and, black and white or grayscale type of a photo. So let's see what it does here. Uh, let's see if it makes anything a little bit better. So I believe it almost is changing it almost into a, a sepia type of photo. So this is more black and white. This is more sepia. I believe that's how you, how you state it. If we were to take a look right up over here, let's see what it's doing with the hair. It looks like it's kind of taken some of the glare away from the sunlight right there. Uh, and then when it comes down to the glasses, pretty much the same thing as before. It is kind of making it a little bit darker. It's making the reflection just a little bit more solid, a little bit more sharper of an image. 
Uh, this one's really kind of up to you. I don't think I'm going to save it. It's not that much of a difference for me. Uh, so the uh, the remaster did not win on that one. So here is something that is just super bright. Two images right here. We're outside. We've got the green grass one more time. Uh, we have something popping out with the, with the what is that, a tulip? <laughs> um, and so here we go. It is... I just want to see what it does with the whole brightness thing here. So it's really, it's really pushing out those greens. It's kind of not having such a deep red color uh, from before. Over here, it is brightening it up a little bit. So it is kind of brightening it up. It's not as a deep red, uh, but it does kind of feel like it's popping the flower out just a little bit more than before. So this almost kind of looks like it's a little shaded, even though you knew it was super bright outside, this just kind of makes it even more bright, oversaturated kind of. Um, but again, let's just go with this one. We'll save it. And you still do have both images. So here was the original, and then this was the edited uh, photo. And again, with some of these originals, you're always going to keep the change background. If you do have a background effect on, uh, it does keep those. Now we're going to head to the very last photo here. This is a just a big yellow pop photo and there is, you have blurring in the background. So it's kind of a color pop type of a photo. And, Cause if you look at the background, you know, it is kind of, uh, you know, grayed out. So this is gonna be a lot of stuff going on. So it's, it's lightening up his skin tone as well. It's lightening up the color of his shirt. You can see here that it's, it's quite a bit different. So here's, it's kind of like a mustardy color. This is a little bit more of a yellowish color. Uh, you can see the color of his binky changing completely different colors as well. So, I mean, it's it's pretty fun to watch this and, and go through everything. So here's the original photo, kind of darker in the background, lighter in the foreground. I kind of like that. This one changes it so much that it's not a natural color. But if you are looking for something to kind of pop out a little bit more, it does make the colors pop, even though it does brighten up the background. I feel for this one, for me, the remaster did not win, uh, but there's a lot of scenarios where it does come off to win. If you want things to pop up a little bit more saturation, you can have it do that. Uh, especially when it comes down to something with glass, it's going to make a pretty big difference. So here's the original. Here was, here was the fixed. You can see the green is popping out. The glass is shown more. Uh, here's the original and here's the remaster. This one looks kind of like a deeper shot of a photo just because of what it was able to do in this whole area. Uh, it's looking really cool, really fun. And so this is kind of a fun way to kind of go back and forth, see what you kind of like in terms of the remastering. You don't really have to go through all the different filters and things. This is kind of a way, it's a different and more fun way to see and what Samsung would choose to do. Uh, I think that if Samsung was to have more partners inside of the photography realm to do things like this, I think that this remastering touch-up is going to be phenomenal in the future. And with this one just coming out right now, they might even refine it, more people playing with it, giving more, more uh, feedback, things like that. But if you guys appreciated this video, we went through quite a few photos. We went through eight or nine photos. Some, some of the times it was better with remastered, some of the times it was not. But I do like... All the results that we have here especially when it comes down to outside so it really makes this image pop more and especially again when you when you watch this with your own human eyes not through a camera and then not through another phone or laptop it does make quite a huge difference to the human eye and it looks really good but again i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hand subscribe subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later